Deep in the Arctic and in Antarctica, we find animals like penguins and polar bears. Have you ever wondered how these animals can survive in such freezing temperatures? I'm Tiffany, and in this video, we'll learn about the insulating property of blubber, the animal adaptation that helps keep these animals warm. For this experiment, you will need a container large enough to fit your entire hand, enough cold water to fill half of the container, ice cubes or ice packs to fill up half of the container, room temperature butter or lard, a butter knife or spoon, two Ziploc bags that are large enough to fit your whole hand, and duct tape. A pair of scissors will also be needed to cut the tape and adult supervision may be needed. To begin, fill your container with ice and cold water. Then, fill one Ziploc bag about two-thirds of the way with butter. Put your hand into the other bag and put that into the buttered bag. Here I flip my other bag inside out and seal the bags together on the sides as much as I could. This helps to keep the butter from escaping but it's not necessary. Spread the butter in the bag until it coats your hand. Tape the bag closed around your wrist to prevent butter escaping or water coming in. Now that you have your blubber glove on, dip it into the ice bucket. How does that feel? Now stick your ungloved hand into the ice bucket for comparison. How does your other hand feel? When I stuck the butter covered hand into the water, my hand didn't feel any change in temperature. I could have left my gloved hand in the cold water for a while, whereas my ungloved hand felt the effects of the cold water instantly. This is because butter is made of fat. Fat is an insulator of heat because it has low thermal conductivity, meaning that heat passes through the material poorly. In contrast, the opposite of an insulator would be a conductor. This is a material that transmits heat easily. An example of a good conductor of heat is metal, which is why cooking pots and pans are often made of metal. Many animals that live in the cold have blubber as an adaptation that helps them survive in the cold. Blubber also serves as energy storage and helps animals float in water. Blubber is a thick layer of fat that sits right below the skin. It can cover the majority of an animal's body, and blubber is so important that it can make up to 50% of an animal's body weight. Since blubber is a poor heat conductor, it helps to keep the heat inside the animal's body. Similarly, we also make use of an insulating layer when we wear puffy winter jackets. The stuffing in our jackets trap air, and air acts as an insulator of heat to keep us warm during the winter months. In summary, we learned that 1. Some animals living in cold climates have blubber, which is a thick layer of fat under their skin. 2. Fat is an insulator of heat, meaning heat passes through it poorly. The opposite of an insulator would be a conductor, such as metal. And 3. Puffy winter coats make use of air as an insulator to keep us warm. Thanks for watching. Try this experiment out at home and make sure to tag Pueblo Science with your results. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for more fun science content. Lastly, comment down below what you would like us to cover next.